Hello, this is Eric at the Prince Road Ford Pre-Owned Supercenter, and we're taking a look at the 2019 Ranger, Ford Ranger, in an XL or STX trim, powered by a 2.3 liter EcoBoost engine, providing you with plenty of power for towing, hauling, and 4x4ing, uh, with some great fuel efficiency as well. And down below you've got running boards, and up above you've got vent shades on the windows. This is the uh, n relatively newly redesigned Ranger, uh, being redesigned in 2019, so this is the first year of the remodel, but let's take a look inside. So first looking in the back where you have your uh, rear doors that swing out like so, to reveal two booster seats in the back, or not booster, uh, jumper seats in the back, which can be removed. Um, do also have vinyl flooring throughout the vehicle, so no need to worry about a carpet that will get stained and messy. Do also have a 12 volt power outlet right there. And now looking in the front where you do have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks. So now sitting in the vehicle with it running, you can see it's sitting at only 7,019 kilometers, so really not a lot of mileage on this vehicle. Basically brand new, but looking at the steering wheel on the right hand side, you have your hands-free phone and radio controls. And on the left hand side, you have your cruise control buttons, as well as your controls for your little center screen here, where you can look at information such as your uh, trip 1 and 2 info, with a digital speedometer, distance empty, trip odometer, trip timer, and fuel economy for said trip, as well as your fuel economy uh, separate from all of that in general. Truck info such as your off-road status and driver assist settings, so you can mess with that, and then some other vehicle settings. But then moving on to your center, your infotainment screen, which is a radio, Bluetooth, I think only radio and Bluetooth, um, but you do have those options at least, so you can hook up your music. Um, but then shifting in reverse, you do also have a backup camera, so you're going to be able to see where you're going and hopefully avoid hitting anything. Can also zoom in on where a hitch would be if you want to have an easier time hooking up a trailer or something. Um, moving down from that though, you have your physical climate controls here, which are pretty simple, easy to use. And below that you have two 12 volt power outlets, and then down there you have a USB where you can plug in something to charge as well, as well as a nice cubby there for your stuff. And then down here you have a couple of uh, controls, such as your um, trailer hookup or trailer information button. Or, or tow haul mode, that's that's what it should be. And then you have your traction control shut off, you do have a locking rear differential, and your auto start stop shut off, so when your uh, vehicle is sitting idle it will shut off to cut down on emissions and save you some fuel. And then you have your uh, somewhat new and unique, your uh, crawling cruise control, so when you're driving over rough terrain you can set this cruise control to take you over the rough terrain at a steady rate. And then you have your 4x4 control as well as your terrain management system, which uh, you can cycle through things such as grass, gravel, snow, mud ruts, and sand, so this is a bit more of a 4x4 vehicle if you're into that. And then you have your main shifter with select shift on the side so you can manually shift through your gears. And then moving on you have two cup holders, parking brake, and your center compartment slash armrest here, which uh, has this little removable piece and then just has some space for your stuff. So that's always nice. Um, but that should cover our look at the interior. One more thing I did mention, or forget to mention, is the box light right here. Uh, below your steering wheel. So finally, if you're interested, feel free to give us a call at 250-563-8111 or just come on down to the dealership and have a look for yourself and have a nice day.